Konnichiwa, and welcome to the Whiskey Time Show. I'm Luke. And I'm Devin. And today we have a very special edition of the Whiskey Time Show. We are on location at a Japanese garden where we are going to try a very special Yamazaki Mizunara 18 year old. It's a very rare, very expensive whiskey that we are very fortunate enough to actually have one, um, a small amount of. And we are very excited to try it today. All right, let's get going. Okay. Let's get out of the sun. It's hot. Yeah. So Yamazaki Mizunara 18, uh, this is the 2017 release and uh, it's very difficult to get so we're really excited that we won the chance to buy some from the Masters of Malt and um, yeah, it's, it's exciting. Yeah, so it, it retails for about $1,000 but realistically you're going to pay a lot more than that because I've, you yeah, can't actually buy it anywhere. I've seen it online for 4,000 yeah, US. On auction or so, eBay. Yeah, or it's pretty pretty difficult to find. So we are super fortunate to be able to try it here today. So the uh, Mizunara, it's the Yamazaki Mizunara. And so Mizunara actually refers to the oak. It's a Japanese oak. Um, it's where they age this whiskey in these oak casks. And the story behind the Mizunara is that in World War II, the Japanese were unable to import any things, like including, of course, American, American oak. oak. <laughs> so they started looking locally to find uh, wood to make their casks for whiskey and, and, and fine furniture, I guess. So <clears throat> the reason that this is so expensive is that actually the Mizunara oak is extremely difficult to work yeah, with. Yeah, really difficult to make casks. It has a high moisture content and it's very hard because it's oak. So it's very hard to make make casks that hold whiskey and don't right, to make them drain it all out. Watertight, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the other thing about it that I've read is you need about a tree that is 200 years old in order to make a cask. So so it takes a long time to grow the tree, and also it it takes a long time since it's such a dense oak, a long time to extract the flavor. So. Yeah, so I guess in the in World War II, when they were starting to make casts and age whiskey in this in this type of wood, uh, they weren't doing it for very many years, and so they thought it's kind of bad. They didn't really like it, and eventually they realized that you actually have to age it for a couple decades before you can really right. extract the flavors. And um, so this uh, the 2017 release of the Yamazaki uh, Mizunara has the youngest whiskey is 18 uh, years old in that. But there's some uh, some older ones up to 50 years old. So, so it's a blend. It's a blend of Yamazaki Mizunara, different ages from between 18 and, and 50 years. So. Well, I'm excited, man. I'm let's, excited. Let's give it a try. Let's do it. Yeah. So here we have this uh, beautiful uh, Mizunara, and I can already smell it just just holding it this far away. And it's a pretty light color. Oh. Uh, it's not it's not very dark at all, actually. Yeah, so we're sharing three centiliters of this. <laughs> We've got 1.5 each. All right, let's take a sniff. Mm, mm, very, really... very sweet. Very citrusy, I think. Oh, it's very crisp smelling. Yeah, sweet, citrus. Mm. A little like a light, light wood. Yeah, like light wood and some, yeah, definitely citrus, I think. Smells amazing, actually. It smells really this fresh and pretty, really delicious. Pretty amazing, I agree. All right. Should we try? Oh man, here All we right. go. Cheers. Wow, it's flavorful. Oh my gosh, it's it is flavorful. pretty darn good. <laughs> wow. It is really complex. Wow. So they said the 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 part of the uh, the fifty year part of the blend gives it that really long it's still mm. still going wow yeah it's it's got a long finish it is definitely so i was reading worth it this on this good. type of whiskey i kind of do a little uh tasting note research ahead of time mm -hmm. and so i guess one of the main flavors that, that you can get out of this this mizunara oak is the is coconut coconut and i'm definitely tasting that actually a little coconut it's spicy taste, yeah definitely supposed to be spicy cinnamon coconut Mmm. Mmm. This is wow. It's sweet, just a little bit, but not too much. It's not overpowering. A little citrusy. 
but it's very complex. Mm. There's a lot of flavors here. Little chocolate, little wood. Er yeah, a lot of different things. And it just, it's just really full and oily. Really, mm. yeah. it is quite amazing. Wow. It's too bad it's $3,000 or something yeah. on eBay. Or so, so the question is, if you were at a bar and they had this, would you, what, what price would you pay for uh, mm. tasting this? Depends on how many drams I've already <laughs> had, probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I have seen it before. For how much? Um, I don't know, 100, I 100? think. 100? For a... Uh, that makes sense, because this was yeah. like 70 just for the one. Or three ounce. Well, three ounces, that's a couple shots, or a couple so, drams. Yeah, you're probably not going to be able to... It's uh, The chance is very rare that you'd be able to get a bottle, so... Yeah. Mm. Oh, it is good, though. It's delicious. Guess. It's so complex. There's so many flavors. I'm loving it. So I have the um, some official notes here okay. in my pocket. Let's read it. If I can get it out. I got all these wires in there. So my tasting, or the official uh, tasting notes from Yamazaki is an amber color. Yep. And the nose is a rich, elegant fragrance, aloe wood and cinnamon. So it's a spicy, got the spicy cinnamon. I taste aloe wood for sure. Aloe wood? I don't even... I, I don't know what that is, but I know what wood is, and I know what aloe yeah. is, and that's what I'm tasting. Aloe wood. That's what I'm smelling. Palette, condensed sweetness, silky texture, very silky smooth, dry fruits, coconut, and that's what you said, the coconut, and the orange marmalade. So it has like the sweet marmalade mm -hmm. and the coconut. Oh, yeah. But it's not sickening and sweet, like other than like some ways. It's very maybe. smooth sweet. It's like just the right amount. It's great, yeah. And the finish, distinctive spiciness lingers with Japanese incense, aloe wood, cinnamon, and tartness. I'm tasting the tartness. And uh, yeah, it's 48% alcohol by mm -hmm. volume, 96 proof. The, uh, if you can actually get a bottle of this, I'd like to get a bottle because it's labeled, the label is 100% handcrafted mulberry echitzen? Ech is in paper, produced <laughs> with a slow process of drying on wood boards. It's a traditional Japanese paper label. And the wood box is also made out of the Mizunara oak. So if you can find a box of this, it's definitely a collectible, nice <laughs> presentation. But You should just drink it. It's just a nice, nice to drink. Life's it's, sort, man. It's just, very good. just drink it. This it's is amazing good. stuff. It is amazing. Mm. Now, I guess there are American whiskey manufacturers who are actually have been experimenting with this. Ah, I heard that. Wood. I think someone up in Washington or somewhere? In Washington State, yeah. But I don't think they're, they've aged it so long. Right. They're just, I think they've just been starting the past couple of years. Right. We'll have to check more into that. Yeah. We'll, be, we'll get back to you on the Mizunara status. Go ahead. All right. Yeah, I'm Luke. And I'm Devin. And Devin. you have watched this special edition of the Whiskey Time Show here at this amazing Japanese garden. Thanks for watching, and until next time, cheers. Cheers. Oh, there's, it's empty. You already drank it. Ah.